guys, it's Half I am back again and this is going to be a collab video. This is the Valentine's and Singles Awareness collab with a bunch of lovely ladies off of Instagram. Um, a lot of them are the same people who did the Top 16 of 16 nail polish collab that we did at the start of the year. So, we have 10 prompts to go through. Um, all of them are interesting in their own way. Um, so I have nine of them are about actual nail polish and one of them is something slightly different, but we will get to that. So I am going to leave all of the other ladies linked down below. So there will be quite a few of them. There is also a sort of add-on to this which was a, which is a f um, nail art collab which is um, on Instagram. So, um, and there's actually a group on Facebook that's connected with it. So, um, yeah, th I will probably, I'm not sure how, but I'll link that in some kind of way as well. So you'll be able to check out the um, collage of all the pictures and see all the other people who are involved in that aspect of it. They're kind of together. Um, we're looking to do more, like, connected type ones. But this one was the first one. It's kind of gelled, not properly. But anyway, it is what it is. Um, so some of us are doing both of them and some of us are just doing uh, the f uh, nail art one for Instagram and some of us are just doing the YouTube video. So just depended on what we wanted to do. So let us get into these questions. So the first question is a favourite sweetheart pink. If you're wondering why I'm looking down there, they're written down on a piece of paper. So my favourite sweetheart pink, which I'm not really sure what sweetheart pink is, but anyway. I am going with Orly Pink Waterfall, which is one of my favourite pinks. Also happens to be in my minis um, project pan. You can see by the lines on it. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It's just a gorgeous kind of mid-toned pink and fabulous formula, etc, etc. So this is my favourite sweetheart pink. The next question is favourite hot pink. Currently my favourite hot pink is W7's It's Pink. Uh, it will freak my camera out. <laughs> you can see. It is a super bright pink. That isn't even over white. That's just on its own. Um, it is also in my project. Hence why there's a little line on it. But I love this pink. It's so great. So that's W7's It's Pink. My favourite baby pink is not actually pink apparently um it is considered to be a pastel purple but it's called cotton candy and as far as i'm concerned it is a baby pink and it is my preferred baby pink obviously i prefer a cooler toned baby pink but that is a bys's cotton candy it doesn't really smell like anything <laughs> so it doesn't smell like cotton candy so that is my favorite baby pink the next question is favorite vampy red. This is actually kind of hard because as I was going through all of my swatch sticks, all my red swatch sticks, I realized that I have probably four that are almost the exact same color. It's just the formula that's different. Um, so what I did is I picked one that I like the formula of that kind of fits the whole vein of it. Um, and that is Sally Hansen, Sally Hansen Insta Dry in Cinesnap. So it's a quite, uh, it's almost oxblood, well it is really oxblood, kind of red. I really quite like this one of red, obviously why I have so many of them. Um, yeah. And this one has one of the better formulas, because it's the Insta Dry line, you can usually just get away with one coat with most of these. So that is Cinesnap from Sally Hansen. My favourite bright red is the next question, and at the moment it is Maybelline Colour Show um, Fruit Juice, which is this just gorgeous bright. It is slightly jelly-ish, so it's slightly squishy, but on the nail it doesn't look like that. That is actually what I'm wearing on these nails, except for the one with the thingy on it. Um, yeah, that is actually that polish there. Absolutely love this. I have totally fallen in love with this recently. So that is Maybelline's Fruit Juice. The next question is Singles Awareness Polish. 
I wasn't really sure where to go with this because I never really thought about singles awareness. It's pretty much been in a relationship since I was 19. Give take a few years, but <laughs> so for me this was a little bit hard to like work out what a good polish would be. In the end, I decided to go with this really colourful, fun glitter from BYS. It's called All That Jazz, which is probably how people who are single and happy to be single think this whole holiday celebration thing is. It's like, sick and tired of all this jazz. Um, that is it over black. It is so fun. It's got pink and red and blue and silver and I think green or teal and it's just, it's just a fun polish and you know, I think being single would pretty much be fun a lot of the time. I don't know, I've been single for a really long time. <laughs> Uh, the next question was favorite date night polish. Again, this was kind of hard because it would be purple would be the color that I would wear on a date. And I have a lot of purple. A lot of purple. I have more purple than I have of any other polish. So uh, what I did is I picked a polish that is in the kind of line that is my, or the kind of color that is my favorite kind of purple, which is this Layla Ceramic Effect polish. It's number 64. It doesn't actually have a name that I know of. Um, it is this really gorgeous purple and it's got kind of a bit of blue reflect in it and uh, it's just... that would be what I would wear on a date. would probably be something like that. But then again, I don't really go on dates so I don't know. I could wear anything. Uh, number eight, the thing, was the favourite nail art for Valentine's. Um, so what I have done is I have gone on my Instagram and I've picked out five manicures that are the kind of thing that I think is quite Valentine-y, the kind of look that I like. So there's a bit of um, like bling. This is actually one of them, like it's a better photo of it because this is a bit manky at the moment. Um, so lots of reds and pinks, a uh, bit of stamping, love hearts, uh, flowers, roses, that kind of thing. So I will insert the five pictures now. to see more of my stuff I'll leave my Instagram link down below so you can go and have a look. Uh, number nine is favorite anti-Valentine's polish. Again this is like really hard because pretty much anything could be anti-Valentine's. I know some people would go like with a black or something like that but I decided to go a little bit different and this is actually a newer polish in my collection. I'm not sure I've actually worn it but this screams to me the Valentine's socks thing. <laughs> which is, it's always stone cold, which, it is a sparkly blue polish, and yeah, so that is my choice for an anti-Valentine's Day polish, no pink, no red, as far removed from that stuff as we can get with a nice bright blue, and a cool name like stone cold. The last uh, prompt, which is number 10, is wedding day polish. Um, as far as I'm concerned, you can wear whatever you like for your wedding. I've seen people wear black and purple and red and stuff. But in terms of a polish that is, that to me is super duper soft and romantic and has that lovely kind of wedding feel to it, um, it's actually from Rimmel's Lasting Finish Pro line. Um, I got all of these like dirt cheap, like two dollars fifty a bottle. Um, I don't know how well you can see it. It is a when you look at under one light, it looks almost like it's white with a slight blue sheen to it, and then if you look at it in a different light, it actually looks pink. 
and I can remember I wore this one day to beauty school and my lecturer, she was like totally in love. This looks gorgeous on the nail and it's just shimmery enough that it just, it would look great particularly like with a satin dress or something that's got that same kind of sheen to it. But I absolutely love this polish. I haven't worn it very much because I know I can't replace it. Um, I have not seen it anywhere. I actually went to try and find another bottle for my lecturer and could not find one. So, yeah. But I absolutely love that. So that is Rimmel's Crushed Pearl. So those are all of my answers for the Valentine Singles Awareness Day collaboration. Again, everybody will be linked down below. Be sure to go and check them out. Tell them that I sent you. If you're coming from somebody else's channel or Instagram or whatever, hi. <laughs> if you want to see more of my stuff, then click the subscribe button down there. If you click the bell, it gives you notifications so that you will know when I have posted a video. Leave me a thumbs up if you like nail type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!